Welcome back in, everybody. Jay Douglas here with you, updating our men's basketball bracket en route to the Final Four this weekend. We have no teams left, folks. Our, our fourth team was eliminated in the Elite Eight. Gonzaga, they lost to UConn. Alabama lost in the Sweet 16, as did Houston. And Marquette lost in the second round. So we're done. We've picked up all our points that we needed to. As you can see, we have Gonzaga right here. That was our last team to make it through. They were our, been our last team for a while. This is going to be a fairly quick video. Our women's bracket, we're not going to be able to do that this week. But those final four games will be decided this week. And LSU is one of our final four teams that have already made it. South Carolina plays on Monday, and so we'll see if we can pick up an extra point there as well. But we're going to go ahead and wrap up our record as well as our final point tally. So as you can see, 28 and 21, a fairly decent record, not a bad record, not a good record. Average but. nonetheless, and then 46 points is what we accumulated over the course of, what, about two weeks? And just to run back through that breakdown, so two points here gave us from the first four. So those are bonus points. Then 10 and 8 were our first round games. So we won 18 games in the first round. And then we had three games win one in the second round. Combine that with four. So we had a total of seven games won in the second round at two points. That's where you get six and eight. And then this was our Sweet 16 team, which was Gonzaga. And then we gave ourselves an extra eight points because that is where... Gonzaga wrapped up at the Elite Eight. So that's how we got to our total of 46 out of a possible, what, well over 300 points. Just getting the national champion alone. I'm going to do the math right quick. So one and two is three. I'll do it on the back side. I'm sorry. <laughs> so one and two is three. That's seven. That's what, 15, 31. 63, 127. So 127 points alone. So you add 127 plus what? 63. So that's what about 190? And then 16 times 2 is 32. 190 is that's what about 212, 222. Somewhere on there. So 222 points alone if you predicted the Final Four and National Championship game correctly. So it's probably well over 300 if you added everything up. But we're not going to go through that. But anyway, so that's pretty much it. All we got, again, you can see how many X's are on this board. And it just wasn't our year, folks. And I, th I want to say... We picked Kansas to win it last year. I want to say that's the only time we've ever gotten a men's prediction right. I was talking about the women's bracket when we were doing that, and I predicted the women's champion correctly twice when Baylor won it in 2019 and then when South Carolina won it last year. I want to say my, my first year predicting this would have been 2017, so 2016, 2017, and... I want to say I picked Duke that year, or maybe that was the year I picked Virginia. Whatever year Virginia lost to UMBC, I know I picked Virginia to win it all that year. When Duke had Zion Williamson, I picked them to win it all, and I don't remember who I picked to win it when, when we went to the Final Four. We, I mean Auburn. So I really only think I've done it once, and I think on the women's side, I picked UConn to win it the first two years. 2017, 2018, and then I would have picked Baylor. And then, of course, 2020, the pandemic year. I didn't do a bracket in 2021. So the women's bracket was what? Two out of, let's see, 17, 18, 19, 22. So two out of four, really, for the women's side. And then for the men, 17, 18, 19, 22, 23. One out of five. So not, not, not doing too hot. Well, anyway, go ahead and let me know how your bracket is, if your bracket is still alive or if it's busted, and let me know who maybe you'll be rooting, rooting for in the Final Four. So the Final Four is San Diego State against Florida Atlantic and then Miami against UConn. So I'm probably rooting for Miami on this side, and I'm probably rooting for 
San Diego State on this side. It kind of stinks that San Diego State and Florida Atlantic have to meet in the Final Four. I'd rather have them met in the championship game. That would have been a win for everybody. That, that's who I'm rooting for. Let me know who you're rooting for, and also let me know if your bracket is still alive and still have some points possible.